looking at a vapor degreaser. On the left hand side is a boil sump. You can see solvent boiling. It will come up and be recondensed by the cooling coils that you can see are dripping. Those cooling coils will go through the channel all the way to the right, go through a water separator, through a uh, spray wand sump, and be returned to the rinse sump. On the right hand side, you can see two little slots on the right hand side wall and solvent dripping down that into the rinse sump. The rinse sump will overflow back into the boil sump and the cycle will start over and over and over in a full distillation cycle. The rod on the bottom of the rinse sump on the right there is a ultrasonic transducer, rod style transducer. Let me turn on the transducer and you can watch the ultrasonics run. And off just for audible purposes will uh, give good agitation and micro scrubbing of your part surface after you run your parts through uh, your vapor wash and over the boil sump you'll immerse them in the rinse sump so the cycle would go as follows holding your parts over the boil sump for about a minute or two let the solvent condense on the cold parts or ambient temperature parts over the boil sump it will allow the uh, solvent to clean, vapor clean the parts. Then you'll come over to the rinse sump, immerse them in the rinse sump for about three to five minutes with the ultrasonics on. You'll then move them out of the rinse sump and hold them just below the cooling coils here to allow the hot oil uh, temperature solvent re uh, flash off or dry off the parts by bringing the temperature from the colder rinse sump or non-boiling rinse sump to boil the parts, uh, excess solvent off the parts. So when you remove the parts, they're completely dry. So you get a wash, rinsed, and dried parts out of the system in this small little footprint. With the cooling coils and then their secondary called vapor trap coils or sub-zero coils to make sure it traps any moisture in the air from getting into the uh, system and any residual solvent that may escape from the chilling coils, the primary chilling coils, into the secondary coils to be extra efficient on solvent uh, recovery. That's how a vapor degreaser works.